The forums will be undergoing maintenance on Tuesday, April 6th at 7 a.m. PDT. I honestly think they may just leave the forums offline. Just leave it at read only. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's better for my mental health. All right, let's have a look. Why is the corruptor pissing ability still in the game? <laughs> Out of all things to complain about, Funky Monk says the following: It is absolutely imbalanced for Zerg having that kind of ability, that he just one click on your CC and instantly kills it. Even with bio to kill them takes forever. Or in a low econ game, Zerk has a free win if he has any corruptors because he can kill your CC and it is over. It's so strong. Also, on top of that, corruptors are almost fast as Vikings because they got speed buff when carriers were OP. So even if you kite perfectly, you will still take damage. And also, Ravagers can buy your Vikings and then one fungal and you lose. So in order to play corruptors, you need to go Ravagers and need to get lucky hitting Vikings and Infestors and... Uh, this is problem. You lose games, some just because of Corruptor Pissing ability. No kidding. And on top of that, every Zerg unit got buffed in Legacy of the Void. Crackling speed, not buffed. Baneling got plus five, 5 HP. They've had that for a long time. Hydra buff, Hydra got nerfed. Corruptor... Uh, guys, I, I'm not fitting the narrative of the barrel. Uh, see, this is my problem. I want to respond to this guy and tell him that the things he's saying... Like, people literally just write things on the internet that aren't even true, and they write it in such a way that it seems to be true. Right? Like, this This is not even... Like, it's... <sighs> <sighs> to the people who think queens are too strong. You're not entitled to beat a Zerk just because you made one Oracle or one Liberator or a handful of low investment units. Any type of committed pressure requires more than Queen Link for defense, which is the way the game is supposed to work. Alrighty, Stretch. Battle.net votes 18 to 4 that Terran is the easiest race. <laughs> wow. A sample size of a whole 22 people. Well, I think now we have the proof, guys. <laughs> that, there it is. This is not a story a Terran would tell you. The forum was put to the test and then the results are shocking. Despite the constant hurricane of Terran wine on Twitch, YouTube and Battle.net forums, most players agree that Terran is the easiest race. I guess that's not all too surprising when you realize there are 50 mineral super units that are w worst are soft countered by the enemy and at best are hard countered by tier 3 enemy units. Free workers, which makes free marines, command centers, etc. Is it a coincidence that all of the Terran's units cost mainly minerals? I think not. The least punishing defense in the game. Out of position, it's okay. Repair the planetary and thwart an entire enemy army or lift the orbital to safety. Lose tons of workers, no problem. Just spam more mules. Units that require virtually no micro. We're talking siege tanks and thors and vikings. The most you have to do is hit one command to transform the unit. And if you feel ambitious, it's time to stutter step micro. Wow. Such skill. Easiest decision making in the game. The most you have to do is choose which mode your units are in. Do you want to be mobile or delete enemy units? Do you want to kill air units or ground units? This is the mighty intellectual challenge of playing Terran in general, but mech in particular. Build orders that take 3 IQ to execute. When you really think about it, it's a no-brainer why new players love to play Terran. If only the ease of use of Terran stopped there, but Terrans have completely and utterly dominated the pro scene for the past 4 years. They'll tell you that isn't true, as they froth at the mouth because Zerk is OP, while pointing adamantly at Cero. But what really makes them mad about Cero is that they can't sleep through the game and still win. This was posted in October 2019, and apparently it's still going. <laughs> Raven Seeker Missile. Do you think it should make a return? I remember these dastardly missiles wrecking so many armies with clusters of Seeker Missiles. It was very annoying at times, and I would personally never want to see it return. But I do recall there's a lot of people who miss it. Who? No one's missing that stupid ability, dude! Do you think having it return would be a good idea or a bad idea? Harstam had a tie versus Serral while streaming. That's that game I casted. And occasionally speaks with his viewers while Serral doesn't stream and 100% focused in the game? Question mark, question mark. LUL Serral game has changed. Morons expect him to win no matter what. Amazing. Nothing to do with balance. Game is okay, Serral is not okay. 
Marlon's here asking to play like junk and win. Sorry, comma, period. It does not work like that. I can feel my IQ dropping by going on the Battle.net forums. It's just... It's like... It's like... Really, it's like the Facebook of the StarCraft community. Like, every once in a while, you may want to go on Facebook to figure out which of your aunts is racist this time around. But other than that, there's really, like, no particularly good reason to hang around here. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm here! Glad to see Cero and his cancerous reign fall off finally. As I've said many times, it's not that Cero is so good, it's that he's carried by his race. Same with Raynor, Elazer, Lembo, Loco, and all the- I'm in that same list, baby! I should be in that list, agreed. The only difference is that they're like a couple thousand Doesn't matter. They may be higher up on the ladder, but I'm there. Same with Raynor, Laser, Lambo, Loco, and all the other EU patch zorks that killed the game from 2017 to 2020. Got been banned from many a Twitch chat. The only one not bowing down to Cyril. These sheep like Twitch chatters can't form their own opinions. It's only defend whatever streamer says at all costs. Can't talk bad of any pros. Hate to break it to you, but Cero himself is turning into one of those Twitch chat D-bags as we speak. I've seen him in Hearthstone stream and many others as a mod. And just annoy or enjoying his attention from the chat that wouldn't dare say a bad word about him. He'll just be another chat fly soon. He can't abusively win every tournament with his carried race. Blizzard buffed Zerg so many times since Legacy of the Void. Exactly because they wanted to create a person like Cero. So he has to turn to trying to scrape money off Twitch. Like Lipstem, Mana, and all these others. <sighs> like, the fact, though, that this guy puts me in the same list as these other Zergs... ...already makes it very clear that he doesn't really know the game very well, right? Like, he lost all credibility when he put my name in the list of these other Zergs. As much as a self-roast that is... <laughs> How are you liking StarCraft 2 right now? Hello! I've been away from StarCraft 2 for a long time, but I recently started watching professional matches. Oh, Locos, you- Guys, I'm everywhere! This place is great for my ego! I take it all back! Whatever nasty things I've said about the forums? These guys are being super nice to me, well, eh. I've been enjoying watching, and it looks like the game might be more fun than it was for me when I became inactive in 2016. I'm curious what you active players think of the game right now. This was also July 19, though. The game is great and balanced, but Terran players still... <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I'm internet famous now. Please give, <laughs> please give infested Terran back. Look above and please make it happen. They were awesome. Then Graviton catapult back again. That and the full damage feedback of Templar. Giving back the Archon toilet. Kappa Keepo, Kappa Rose, Kappa Claws, Kappa Wealth, Kappa Pride. Man, I haven't been on the forums in a little while. I see not a whole lot has changed, but they're just naming my name more often, which I... I do appreciate. What I would like to see on the forums when I go here is people discussing things that I think are worth discussing, right? Like, for example, the fact that the ladder is currently broken. People are sitting in Master League at 2k MMR, and people are sitting in Bronze League with 5k MMR. We've had the same map pool for like a very long time right now, and I would love to see some changes over that. But there's none of that going on. Instead, we're discussing why the Corruptor is over overpowered, especially like its anti-ground ability. In what world is the Corruptor anti-ground ability too strong? It makes no sense. I haven't been playing as much of late, however. <laughs> Wait. I haven't been playing much as of late, however. When I, Great sentence. When I do play, however, when I do play, there you go. When I do play, I decide to pick up Toss for a couple of games here and there. And T and Z, Rage Quit, PvP is just PvP anyway. I did the standard meme build versus both races. In PvT, I simply proxy voids. They sent three Cyclone across the map, but had to return or risk losing the base trait. By the time Cyclones came back, I had three Voids killing Depots and their base. They were so mad, but not as mad as Z. Also, since they were opening Cyclones, I could have ma- What? Guys, when you go for a proxy Void Ray opener, you should get there before a Cyclone is out. So, like, the fact that this- <sighs> In my PvZ, 
I can in their natural, followed by turtle toss to sky toss. Ugh. I could have beat them with ground army, but didn't want to take any chances. I just mass cannon, shield battery, and snipe bases with voids. Then transition Ono oh no, to carrier tempest templar. GG. But they had a few choice words. I tried to tell them this isn't my main. I'm just doing this to prove a point. Oh boy, they were upset. I'm considering switching to Toss full time when I do decide to play. This was the least stress I had in a very long time playing the game. The tears were delicious. <laughs> oh, so this this guy on a, on a on a I don't know an evening after work decided to play a couple games as Protoss. And then somehow, some way, rather than just enjoying the game, he decided to turn this into a balanced complaint. <laughs> he gave a description of the games that he played, but it's very clear to me that these are low-level games. Because if, by the time you send in a Void Raid, there's two th or three cycl Cyclones out, you are literally like... Your Void Raid should have arrived... Uh, four minutes sooner. What if it is literally just like three people that keep complaining all the time on the forums and they just do so with like half a dozen different accounts each? Because I actually, I actually wonder if that's not what's going on. Because that's what happened last time around that I went to the Battle.net forums. For those of you that didn't see that, I basically made a video where I went to the Battle.net forums, I think about a half year ago or so at this point. And after I went there, I roasted a couple of people. And one guy made an account, like, called Loco, and he was talking politics and making me look really bad. I had to reach out to, um, to Blizzard in order to get that account removed. And then another account was made called Bloco. Anyways, some people apparently thought it was actually me going on the forums and spouting all that racist and really nasty stuff on the forums. Hey Loco, did you remain your or rename yourself to Bloco? Confirm from stream. No, it's bets. Due to too much saltiness, he tried to ape the Loco nickname. Soon real Loco will roast again, our resident troll. I don't think Bets can survive another roast. He hasn't recovered from his last one. <laughs> Here it is. This guy has 276 forum posts under Sorry, am I supposed to care if some YouTuber cries about me and pines for my attention? I do really live rent-free in some of these people's heads. Just to clarify, guys, I don't post on the forums. I posted once because someone was impersonating me back in November and they were literally making me look really bad, which I thought was really pathetic and kind of sad, but... Apparently, some people actually believed that it was me, so I tweeted that, you know, it wasn't me, and I posted that on the forums. Cannon Rush is too unforgiving. I'm here again to remind Blizzard that if there is a single strat that needs to be gone from the game, it is Cannon Rush. The defender isn't allowed to allow the mistake, or he will straight out lose without having his first units out in the game. Everybody agrees it's too unforgiving for the defender. Defender have zero margin of error. I will keep posting this until Blizzard do something about it. I'm afraid to let you know, sir, that it's been around since 1998. I don't, uh, I don't think that's uh, gonna change. Please replace Super Battery. I don't know about you, but I play Tulsa and I want to see the return of the Mama Ship. No, bro, I'm okay with no. Nobody wants to see the Mama Ship core. So this guy wants to remove the Super Battery ability. And he wants the Mama Ship core to be added back to the game. So he wants the super... Or sorry, he wants regular shield batteries plus a Mother Ship core. I think there's enough turtle play in StarCraft as it is. I don't think we need any more of that. Zealots need a buff. <laughs> sure. Supposedly the Masters of Melee Combat with exceptional skill. Gameplay. Slaps everything. Buff, give kung fu animations. Combos that would make fighting games proud of. Oh, okay, I don't mind that buff. That seems cool, dude. If zealots, like, have basically the same stats, but they just do, like, cool, you know, backflips and all kinds of other spins and stuff, that would be... Uh, yeah, no, I actually... You know what? That's a well-deserved buff for the zealot. Rather than going, like, choom choom, they should, like... You know, full spins. I would do it right now, but then I would get tangled in my own headphone cables. Yeah, this guy's great. I agree. Oh, look. 
I just want the old charge upgrade back with a nerf to the charge bonus damage, which is added back with the attack upgrades. Plus, <laughs> he's making a joke, Deck Templar. This is a joke. <sighs> oh, here we go. Someone agrees with him, though. A unit is improved if you reinforce the strong traits, not irrelevant traits, while nerfing the strong ones. If you want to improve a Ferrari, you concentrate in the engine power or aerodynamic to reduce the drag coefficient. You don't reduce engine power and add a refrigerator. Nice for a Rolls or a Bentley. Or add armor. Nice for an armored car that can withstand an attack. Ugh! This is... The worst analogy ever. I get what he's trying to say. I do agree that Zealots are Ferraris though. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think would happen if carriers could warp anywhere? With BCs being able to get free teleports to anywhere on the map every minute or so, I thought to myself, imagine if Blizzard made it so carriers could warp anywhere, without even needing pylons. Surely they would never add something so overpowered to the game. Oh wait. This is once again a balance wine. <laughs> oh. Can I leave the forums now, guys? Am I good here? I feel like we are now free to leave the forums alone once again for a couple of months. It's nice to see that there are still such active discussions going on about important matters like the Corruptor pissing ability and whether or not the Mothership core should make a comeback in the game. But it is a little bit painful to hang out here for too long. Yeah, at least we now know that I'm basically at the same level of Raynar and Lambo and Elazer and all those other Zerg players though, so I got that going for me.